Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 26, Circumference and Area of a Circle, Exercise 26, Question 13. This is calculate the shared area in each of the following figures. And first part, you can see we have this figure where there is one right angle triangle and one quadrant of a circle. Quadrant is one fourth part of a circle. So you can see we have these two combined. So I will calculate the area separately and then combine because there is no direct formula for calculating area of such figures. So area will be what? Area of triangle plus area of quadrant, right? Area of quadrant, right? So we'll use the formula for these two. Area of a triangle is half base into height. Now see, it is given over here. This side is equal to this side. You can see two dots over here, two dashes, and then two dashes this side. That means these two sides are equal, and this one here is also going to be equal to this side. Why? Because you can see, if this is equal, then this is bisecting this, right? So that's also the same side. That means what? Half of 14. Total is 14. Half will go here, 7 centimeters. Half will go over here. That is 7 centimeters. And this side will also be 7 centimeters. Now see, we will have area of the triangle half base into height. So base is 7, height is 7 as well. Plus area of quadrant. So area of the quadrant is pi r square upon 4 or into 1 by 4. We have pi as 22 by 7 into r square that is 7. So 7 into 7 into 1 by 4. This upon 4 you can make 1 by 4 as well. So, uh, so just to make the calculation simple now. 7, 7 cancelled. 4 and 22 cancelled. Uh, this will go 2 times. By 2 this will go 11. This will be what? C. 49 upon 2 because 7 into 7 is 49 11 into 7 77 upon and here 2 now solve 9 7 that is 6 and 1 carried over 7 4 11 and 1 126 by 2 that's what 63 square centimeters that's the answer let's move on to the next part now next part is the second part you can see we have got one semicircle complete and another triangle here. So what I will do here, see, first I will calculate the length of this side, hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. This is the height, this is the base or any of these two are height and base and this side opposite to both of them is your hypotenuse. So first I will calculate this, then what I will do is I will calculate the area of the semicircle and the area of the triangle and then subtract because you can see the shaded part is not the area of the triangle but actually it is the area of the semicircle but the area of triangle cut away from it so what i will do i will remove the area of triangle from area of semicircle see first we will use the pythagoras theorem that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square right so see this will be what Be a hypotenuse square is equal to now let's put the values down base is 16 or either of these two sides you can just put him in the square now hypotenuse square is equal to 16 square that is uh, 256 and 12 it square that's 144 so hypotenuse square is equal to 400 right so my hypotenuse is equal to a root of 400 that is 20 so hypotenuse length is 20 this is 20 centimeters right this we have calculated now we will calculate the area of the triangle right or just calculate the shaded area at once don't worry so shaded area will be what let's see area of semicircle minus area of triangle so let's see what's that going to be see first of all area of the semicircle it is pi r square upon 2 or pi r square into 1 by 2 so we will do what 3.14 into 10 into 10 and upon you can do here 2 minus area of triangle this is 16 this is 12 so that will be 
half into base into height so half into 16 into 12 so solve this 6 here okay and here we will have 314 by 2 minus 16 into 6 96 so that's what see this will go 1 uh, 1 and 5 and 1 7 157 minus 96 7 minus 1 uh, 7 minus 6 1 5 so 15 minus 9 that is 61 uh, square centimeters this is approximately right it can be more as well if you will take the other value that is pi 22 by 7 then you will get a little different in this now let's move on to the next part now next part is this third part you can see we have got two figures one is this semicircle and another one is this trapezium so we will calculate the areas separately let's see the shaded area is equal to what so first you can see we have got one semicircle so area of semicircle is pi r square upon 2 so 22 by 7 into r 7 it is you can see 7 is my uh, your this uh, diameter of the circle semicircle so radius will be 3.5 into 3.5 into 1 by 2 why because this is a semicircle and plus area of trapezium so area of trapezium is 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides what are the parallel sides here 15 and 10 so 15 plus 10 into what into the height height is what you can see height is always perpendicular so this 7 you can see that's your height uh, so into 7 now solve 2 22 11 and 1 times this will go okay 3.5 and 7 also 0 0.5 okay so see what do we get here 11 into 0 0.5 that is 5.5 into 3.5 let's see i've done it but let's do it again so 175 here right if you try 5 and 2 guide over so again 175 here 5 12 and 1 9 and 1 19.25 right so here 19.25 and plus plus what see 1 by 2 into this uh, 25 okay 1 by 2 in uh, into 25 and into 7 15 plus 10 that's 25 now see over here this is already solved this we will solve so what i will get here see that's what 19.25 plus 25 by 2 into 7 solve 25 will go how many times 12.5 times by 2 1 2 and 0.5 and then into 7 so 5 3 carried over 17 1 8 and put decimal point after one place so you have got here 19.25 plus 87.25 uh, sorry 87.5 so this will be your answer see what do you get after adding 5 and 25 0.5 and 0.25 will be 0.75 and 19 and 87 97 16 and 1 106.75 square centimeters that becomes your answer let's move on to the next part this we have semicircle and here oa is the center of the circle and oa is equal to 7 centimeters so o this is 7 centimeters oa and o is the center of this entire circle so this is also going to be 7 because from center to any point on the boundary it will be equal and that means this will also be 7 right now you can see we have got one sem big semicircle and inside of it there is one circle so we will calculate the area of the semicircle and the area of the circle and then subtract because shaded part is this much only right so area it will be what c we have first of all a uh, semicircle is pi r square so radius is 7 so 22 by 7 into 7 into 7 okay and into 1 by 2 cancel 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 this cancel this 11 times and then minus the area of the circle so 7 is the radius of this circle uh, diameter of this circle so radius will be 3.5 22 by 7 into 3.5 into 
3.5 no 1 by 2 because this is complete circle not semicircle so um, let's see we can cancel this and this as well 0 0.5 here see we have 11 into 7 that is 77 minus and now 22 into 1.5 into 3.5 right uh, 0 0.5 sorry so let's multiply let's check 3.5 into 0 0.5 and then 22 into and then the product of these two that is 1.75 so 1.75 let's see 5 twos are 10 and 1 11 right 14 and 1 here so 15 and then here 22 0 5 5 2 7 1 8 and uh, 1 2 3 and put decimal point after two place so 38.5 77 minus 38.5 uh, you can put the zero as well here if you feel like so let's so this will be uh, here nothing will be there so 0 0.50 this will become 6 6 minus 16 minus 8 8 here 6 minus 3 3 38.50 square centimeters that becomes the answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye